Abyssidiac and welcome back to another episode of Cabby Crew Simulator here on Roblox where boys, 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 the developers have released another sneak peek of what's coming in the brand new update. Now it's not just one sneak peek, there's about five, I mean, that's, that's ten hands but you know what I mean, there's about five new kind of sneak peeks that the developers have literally released and they are huge. Some of it leads on to maybe when we're going to see the update coming out. We've got some screenshots, they've done a post, it's kind of exciting. This is the biggest news yet of this brand new update. Now I just want to say boys, if you're hyped for the new update and want to see your boy play it as soon as it comes out, if you want to get notified as soon as the update does drop, uh, smash the like button down below, subscribe. The only way you will know as soon as that update comes out is by subscribing right now so you get that notification, boys. So, what is it then, boys? Now, this is not really exciting. Normally, they like just post a screenshot and that's it. They don't really say anything else. But this time, they've not only posted a screenshot, but we've got a huge post that they've done, uh, which pretty much tells us everything that we need to know about the new features and what potentially is coming. This, this is exciting. So, Sadiac, what is it then? Well, okay, we have to break this down. Now, there's two sneak peeks we're going to have to go through first. The first one is the screenshot. Now, this is the first one. Uh, if I go to another section, there's a whole post we're going to go to right now. But uh, join my Discord, boys. Link in the description right now to find out everything. But basically, the sneak preview is they're pretty much adding or changing a disaster. Now, it says here, the depressurization emergency will be improved in the next update. Now, when I see this, I'm like, wait, what? And I clicked on it, and then it kind of made me have more questions and also give me more answers. Now, when I think about the emergencies, I think about my favorite ones. The water landing, the unconscious pilots, the crash landing. I don't really do the cabin fire. And I don't do this one, the depressurization. Only because I feel like it's pretty boring and basic. But to hear the fact that they're now updating this is quite exciting. So there's a few things I'm looking at here which kind of makes me question a lot of things right now. One of them is, um, the emergency's triggered. They're still holding their drinks and snacks. Did the emergency always trigger when they were eating food? I don't know. But the big one is, where's the goddamn door? I have no idea, boys. So what I want to do real quickly right now is create a new flight. Now, before I show you the huge post that reveals everything that we need to know right now, I'm going to create a quick flight using the basic plane. We're going to fly to New York. Select it all. Doesn't even matter, baby. Doesn't even matter. But what I want to do is do the uh, depressurization, boys. The depressurization. Because I want to see what the difference is between that screenshot and me about to do it now. Because from what I remember, I don't remember the actual uh, uh, emergency triggering when they had their food and drinks in their hand. Yeah, this one's got me all kind of confused right now. This one's got me all kind of confused. So let me go back to it anyway. Uh, you can see there's all smoke around right now. So I feel like because we know that this is the realism update, they're adding more realism. So when the depressurization happens, there has to be a reason to why the depressurization, why we're losing pressure in the cabin. Best way to do that, remove the damn door. <laughs> That's huge. I wonder if you can actually walk out of that. I wonder if you can fall out of your plane. Uh, I wonder what happens when you put everyone's masks on. Do you have to put your own mask on? Do Because, like, does the door come back? Does the door stay disappeared until you land and get the plane back to the gate? So many questions. So many questions. Will we see players get sucked out the door and go mild? Can I throw the babies out the window? Uh, you see where this is going, right, boys? You see where this is going? Well, this is kind of exciting. This is kind of exciting. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to board the plane right now. We're going to get it in the air and we're going to see when this disaster hits. But in the meantime, shall we take a look at the other post the developers put, which is making us, well, making me really, really excited to understand what's going down right now. Uh, new features, maybe a potential release date. Guys, are you ready for this? If you are, smash that like button down below. So as the last few passengers now get on board, what we'll do is we'll close the door, we'll taxi, and then we'll check out 
this beautiful post. So let me get on board right now. I've got to quickly close the door, pick you up, open you, put you in. Um, are you sat down? Close this door. Hello, Overhead lockers really quickly. I've got to do as much as I can as soon as I can, boys. We're going to push back. Seat belt. Seat upright. Trade table. Wait, I've got maximum passengers on this plane. I just realized. Right, there we go. I'm going to sit down. I've done everything I need. We're now pushing back. So, the other big post that the developers um, put out there right now, apart from updating this, um, is, was huge. I was, I, when I seen this, I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. But then I seen another notification with a huge post, and I was like, oh, god damn, what is going on? And it's within their announcement section. Now, if you go into this, right, it says here, Cabin Crew Simulator uh, coming update testing has started. Which means one thing, boys. They have implemented everything that they're going to add, and now they're testing to find the bugs. Last time this happened was the last update, and they found loads of bugs, which got the update delayed. You guys remember that? It was a sad time. I was so excited, and then I got disappointed, but then I was really excited because, you know, the update then came out. But it says here, hey, everyone. Thanks for your patience during this update development. We are happy to let you know Tetan has begun this week for the next update. So if Tetan has begun this week, which today is Saturday, this came out yesterday, Friday. So I'm assuming next week is testing. Could we get it? Could we get it next week if all goes to plan? Maybe. While well, we've been working on many cool features that will bring more realism and new. Now this is the big one: new scenarios and objectives. New scenarios and new objectives Flight into the game. Now, what does that mean? New scenarios? What does that mean? Like, what would you class as a scenario? Like, an event happening? Uh, a disaster is a new scenario, but they're updating the current one. Uh, I don't know. I mean, with all the stuff that we kind of recently know right now, they're adding stuff to it to kind of create these new little scenarios. But they also say objectives. Now... The thing that's going to instantly make me think of an objective is obviously going to be either missions, new missions, obviously, or new achievements. That's the two things that come to my mind as an objective. What do you guys think that could possibly be? I don't know. I don't know. They also say uh, we have also been focusing on a great deal on optimization and performance. This update, so uh, we can add more to the game in the updates after, without sacrificing your user experience. We have reached our Ooh. cruising altitude. The flight attendant okay. their in-flight service shortly. Now that's interesting. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. That's real interesting. So this update, right, while we are getting a bunch of new content and new features and new little tweaks to make it as realistic as possible, there's a whole background stuff that they're implementing. Now, while that makes me excited, it's because not only the game is going to run smooth, I mean, the game runs smooth already, but the game is going to run even smoother because they have big plans, and the big plans that they need to implement in future updates need some back-end work to make the game run better. What are they planning for the future, guys? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know right now. I am so excited. They also say we have posted several previews in the devlog. Note, but note, there are more features coming that we have not posted. Thanks for being a part of the Cruiser Studios. Stay tuned. What? There's more updates in this update that they haven't even told us about right now? That's kind of crazy, boys. That is kind of crazy. Now, what I want to quickly do, boys, what I want to quickly do right now is see when the current... Uh, depressurization emergency gets triggered because I want to compare this to the screenshot right now and see what's going down. So is that a Coca-Cola? I think that's a Coca-Cola, right? I've made the, the, the mistake of having too many items to serve. Now everybody wants everything and it's kind of a little bit all over the place. I've also made the mistake as well of having too many passengers on the plane. Seniac, will you ever learn? He will never learn, boys. He will never learn. Um, now... From, I always felt like the depressurization happened when you collected the trash. But apparently, according to that screenshot, I have been wrong. Unless they've completely changed it to... Oh. This is your captain speaking. Oh. We have experienced oh. a cabin depressurization. Oh. 
flight attendants, make oh. sure all passengers have their oxygen masks right. on and do it quickly. We can see that they are not holding their food and drinks. It does trigger in the food and drink process, but they're not holding their food and drinks, which makes sense. Why would they disappear? Why would the food and drinks disappear? Right? Oh, no, that person's holding their food and drinks. Wait, not everyone's holding it, though. That's weird. Not everybody's holding it. Oh, no, some people are. Wait, maybe they all have the whole time. This is your captain from the flight deck. We have started hmm. our initial descent. Maybe they have. Soon. Thanks for flying Guys, have they you. always hold their again, food and soon. drinks? I'm so confused right now. I am literally so confused right now with this. My mind has slightly been blown. Maybe they've always holded it. Holded it. Hold it. Hold, held it. <laughs> God damn it, English. Weird, right? Weird. But let me just see what else needs to be done right now. Seat belt. Seat belt. Sit up. Oh, no, wrong one. Tray table. I'm going to land the plane. Yeah, that's a weird one, isn't it? Let me go back to that right now. Let me go back to that. I don't know if it's because I've just never noticed. Or maybe it's because I just never do this emergency because of... You know, the obvious. It's a little bit boring. But now that I know the door blows off, I wonder, like, do all the doors blow off? Imagine the A380 and all the doors that that plane's got right now. That would kind of be absolutely crazy. So what do we know that's coming in this new update, boys? What do we know? So we know that, right, we're going to get cargo loading. We know that we're gonna get, I mean, the cargo load's beautiful. I'm trying to think of objectives and scenarios. I don't know, lost baggage. Uh, then we've got the cabin cleaning services, which again is amazing. Uh, again, can't wait for that. I feel like there's so much stuff to add in. The window shutters, which is only a small thing, but maybe this is a new scenario. Passengers arguing because somebody shut the window. That could be kind of crazy. We've got the airports now being populated more with passengers. Could we get lost passengers? I don't know. And now we've been informed that we're getting the new Diddy pressurization emergency update as well. Kind of crazy. Cannot wait for that. But that announcement is the first time the developers have given us information from their own mouths about what's coming. They let on to new realism, new scenarios, new objectives in the game, and the stuff that has not been posted. Now, my question is, what do you reckon it's going to be? When do you reckon the update's coming out? We now know that they're in the testing phase, which if it all goes to plan, we could have this update very soon. And I mean, like, very soon. Fingers crossed there is no issues. Fingers crossed. I know when they add more stuff to the game, there is more stuff that could potentially go wrong. So you kind of have to stand that, you know, you might have the slight little hiccup or two. Uh, we had that in the last update. So, guys, what do you think? Are you excited for this new uh, disaster update? I am, which also makes me wonder, have they updated the other disasters? That's what I would like to know. Have they updated any of the other disasters? That would be kind of cool to find out. And uh, let me know what you think about the new objectives and scenarios. What do you think they're going to be? My personal kind of opinion is new achievements and new missions. That's what I think. I think they're going to be new achievements and new missions. Could be wrong. But it sounds like the most logical thing yet. It does. It does. Oh, goodness me, boys. These developers, they like to tease us, don't they? They legit like to tease us right now. We still don't know when it's coming out. Well, at least we know they're now in the testing stage. That's a huge bit of news. That's a huge bit of news right now. Right, so my plane has now arrived. Uh, I'm quite surprised with the fact that I learned something new today, that they always had their food and drinks in their hand, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, it is kind of hilarious. This person's got their phone in their hand right now, the damn fools. So, yeah, boys, we're about to see the doors explode in the next update. This is hilarious. Now, I wonder what happens if, say, like, this door exploded off and now the jetway comes in. We have no door. Can I just walk out? Does it work like that? Or will they put, like, an invisible barrier? I expect them to put an invisible barrier so you don't fall out the plane. But that's not realistic, is it, boys? Um, apparently, our safety was not great. Why? Oh, yeah, because we had a depressurization emergency. Of course, you damn fools. Of course. 
So let me know what you think in the comment section down below, boys. What you think of the brand new features in this brand new update. And when do you think it's going to come out? Let me know in the comment section down below. But until next time, I'll see you all soon. So goodbye.